Yeah. Mm -hmm. That uh, predestination? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a theological term, meaning God's unchangeable decision? Yes. And then there's that uh, fate of the world and mankind. <sighs> Little prejudice on the part of police officers? Yes. Racial or religious prejudice? Yeah. Discrimination? Oh. You know, um, I I did go to a, a theological school. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I emailed um, Northwest University. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Predestination is this idea. Yes. That God does know. Mm. And uh, I wasn't praying. Mm -mm. I, I haven't asked God for anything. Yes. But there's what's known as the prayer of relief of a lawsuit. Yes. Let's say I did pray. Yes. In the form of a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. And as a condition of your conviction. Right now. You do decide to buy all the necessary raw materials. Yes. To be able to install this new heating. Um, mm -hmm. Lighting, yes, an insulating system of your individual office, yes, in every police department right now. Now, you've really been fighting against me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You really have. Yes. Now, it could be that God has decided mm. that um, there's this unchangeable decision concerning the fate of the world of mankind. <laughs> well, I'm going to be a trillionaire. In fact, I'm going to be a multi-trillionaire. Pooch. <laughs> Somewhere between 10 to $15 trillion. Yep. Now, you don't actually get to experience, yes, the the savings, yes, of the electricity that uh, you're not using mm -hmm. for 10 years. Mm -hmm. But you do have to pay for me to install it. Yes. And you have to buy the products necessary to install. Mm -hmm. Now, that's going to be a large chunk of change on the part of the police right now. <laughs> now, you've been fighting against me mm -hmm, for the last eight years, three months, and approximately 20 days. Yes. And I've informed you that my rights are being violated. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you could be fighting against God. Mm -hmm. Now, wouldn't that be a frustration? Well, why don't you get me these theological schools? Yes. Mm -hmm. The seminaries. Mm -hmm. Where the ordained go to get their MDivs? Yeah. Uh, Master of Divinity. <laughs> And then these locations in Christianity where you go to Bible college? Yes. The Associates of Arts degree in ministry. Mm. Now, I thought for sure that all of these various institutions of higher learning, yes, that were concerned about their tuition costs, mm. they were concerned that there is a 7% increase in tuition costs in higher education, mm. had an obligation to not only expose them, mm, was known as child abuse, kidnapping, child neglect. Ah! But then there was another term, the moral turpitude of the issuance of a court order, mm -hmm. where the individual had no jurisdiction of law to be able to motion the court. <laughs> now, I know the United Nations has a lot of buildings where they go to work at. Yeah. And I thought for sure that the United Nations was going to get sued for any knowledge of this. <laughs> So why don't you get me the individual locations where you can get a mm -hmm, religious degree? <coughs> the Yales, the Harvards, <laughs> any of these big name schools. Mm -hmm. And then all of the different churches of the 501c3. <coughs> now let's say I sued you today. <coughs> Mandatory reporters. Yeah. There was something special about moral turpitude that I was looking at uh, yesterday. <coughs> See, somebody said he doesn't know what he's talking about. Moral turpitude. Oops. <laughs> could you do me a favor? Yes, you could. Mm -hmm. I was wanting to contact those that you love. Yes, he does. <laughs> and uh, the thought was, yes, that all your friends and relatives wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. Could you get me your contact list of all your smartphones everywhere in the United States? <laughs> Every oath of office. I just wanted to know your contacts again. Yeah. Now, this phone, mm -hmm. this is what you call the Affordable Care Act. Yes. They used to call it Obama phone, but then Donald Trump got elected president. <laughs> we call them Trump phones now. We don't call them Obama phones. What do you think? <laughs> but this ICE emergency contacts. Yes. As I remember it, mm -hmm. there is the availability of using the phone to call 911. Yes. Without the phone having any cell phone minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, if I took it off of airplane, yes, he does. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at it. Whew, 
See those little bars right there? Yeah. There's my alarms. I usually wake up at 6.30, though. Sometimes I wake up before that. <laughs> there, right there. Could you get me the 911 system? Yes. <clears throat> of all the cell phones that don't have any minutes <clears throat> right now. And then there was the uh, 95 cent screw up of Homeland Security. Yeah. Where we were paying our taxes to the individual retailers that sell these uh, <clears throat> these monthly cards. Yeah. Could you call the Homeland Security and <clears throat> just find out what they're paying for their lighting expenses and their uh, heating expenses? <clears throat> In all the fusion centers, the FEMA camps, and the the various locations where we're all going to stay in the event of a cataclysmic event. <laughs> now, I'm wanting to sell this today, and <laughs> I'm going to want your contact. <laughs> now, I know you're an oath of office. Mm -hmm. You swore that you would support the laws of this state, uh -huh, Washington State, <laughs> the new territory of the United States known as Washington, <laughs> a United States territory. <laughs> you know... It's possible to lose the Washington state, yes, the people of the state of Washington, become the people of the Washington Territory. Then there's the people of the state of Guam, yes, known as the Guam state. <laughs> Not that far from Hawaii, I'll tell you that right now. Now, since ICE uh, emergency contacts, yes, it's suggestive that if I was to actually call this number, no. It would contact the ICE detention centers of Homeland Security. Now, I know I didn't want to call them, but I might as well. Now, this predestination, I'm going to want the contacts of every cell phone of every person in law enforcement that I'm going to assume that has any knowledge of the moral turpitude of wanting to destroy the life of a spouse yeah. unnecessarily uh -huh. because I was in jail. There's no possible way I could have hurt my wife or kids. <laughs> that get me, con get me Heidi's contact list, Wayne's contact, <laughs> Lori's, <laughs> Sandy. That's so good. <laughs> now, George Soros, do you have any contacts in your phone that I should be aware of? <laughs> <laughs> now, remember that paternity fraud I was telling you about? Yes, known as the maternity fraud. Yes, the Uniform Parentage Act. Yes, he does. <laughs> I just wanted to know, of every woman that said that she was my wife, yeah, how many of them said that I had conceived a child with them? <laughs> there was this story going around that I was having sex with what could have been thousands of different women. <laughs> That I had made babies with all of them and they all wanted them to sue me for child support. <clears throat> and uh, somebody else was paying a uh, look-alike uh, Paul Budnick. Yes. To have sex with women that said they were Paul Budnick so that they could make me pay child support, child support for, in, for the infants that I didn't conceive. I didn't conceive them. <laughs> now, I actually haven't had sex for approximately eight years. Yes. I don't have the herpes. <clears throat> I don't have an STD. No! <laughs> But that paternity fraud is really something because crimes uh, committed against person, family relations, or sexual morality? Yes, it does. <laughs> See, if you go through the Wikipedia that I gave you, yes, mm -hmm. it talks about yes the moral turpitude of those that um, <laughs> that are wanting to immigrate to the United States, and you can be deported for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The fears of various questions in the I-94W. In fact, why don't we get those I-94s? A lot of the illegal aliens that are not actually from outer space, something we call them. You're an illegal alien, but you're not from outer space. Seems that Homeland Security thought that there was approximately 11 million of them. <clears throat> now, I'm not big on the deportation, I'll tell you that. <laughs> if you could sneak into this nation, I would want to keep you here, but <laughs> if you can't, don't. <laughs> now, well, I know, <laughs> you're you're Mexican. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about these Hispanic women that happen to be in the United States that shouldn't be here? <laughs> What if I was the president of a club of Hispanic women that had illegally immigrated to the United States? We could call the president of all of those that are illegals. You volunteered your sexual nerve endings. <laughs>